Okay, so in this video we're going to be taking a look at the fundamentals for a great forehand. So this will just cover the uh, basic fundamentals um, for hitting a powerful and consistent forehand. So we'll look at the back angle first, and what you're going to see, it all starts with a good unit turn. So this basically means I'm preparing the racket by turning the shoulders away from the target. And see how when I'm doing this, my elbows are raised and away from my body. And now if I stop it at this frame right here, I'm now at the completion of my unit turn, where I've turned the shoulders past the level of the hips. See that right there? And that allows me to store energy down the side of the body, which equates to more racket head speed and more power as I strike the ball. Now, at the end of the unit turn, what you're going to see from here, I've loaded the outside leg. And now I'm going to begin to step forward into what we call the neutral stance. And see how also when I'm stepping forward, the hand drops down into that slot position. So it happens in sequence together. Now, the other thing you see here, as the hand drops down into the slot position, I coil the lower body. So I get low with the lower body. And then from there, as I begin the forward swing to contact, my body now uncoils and I transfer the weight forward and upward into my strike zone. So then I'm transferring all the energy through the kinetic chain and into the ball. So that's why we, we call it the X factor. And when you use the body effectively like this, you're gonna to start to generate a lot of effortless power on your forehand. Now, the next principle we're gonna look at is what we call the inside out swing path. So if I bring it to the end of the unit turn here, what I want you to pay attention to is how the hidden hand and racket will fall down into a good slot position. Now, what is the slot position? The slot position is when the uh, hidden hand and racket are close to the body on the inside position. Now, from here, I'm going to swing away from the body to contact. So that's why we call it inside out. The racket and hand start close to the body, then they swing away from the body to contact. Now, after contact, what you'll see the racket and hand will continue to extend forward and upward out towards my target and it will lift throughout the swing. And then I get to that high finish position where you see right here. So the general movement of my swing path is moving inside out and low to high out toward my target. And that allows me to lengthen the hitting zone, get more leverage since I'm swinging inside out, which will give you more power, but also moving low to high, it's going to give you more topspin. Now let's take a look at the same thing from the side angle. First thing we see is that good unit turn with the upper body where the shoulders are preparing the racket. And now at the end of the unit turn here, we see that I've turned the shoulders past the level of my hips. Uh, always good reference point for that is if your non-dominant arm is parallel with the baseline, that will tell you that you've got a sufficient upper body turn. And you can also see my elbows are out and away from my body. They're not close or tucked in. Now from here, as I step forward into the neutral stance, I begin to coil my lower body. So I sit down, imagine you're sitting down in a chair and that will coincide with the racket and hand dropping into the slot position. Now from the slot position, I begin to uncoil the body. So now I'm transferring the body weight forward and upward into the shot. So at contact, you can see my front leg is straight. So what does that tell you? That tells you I've transferred my body weight into the strike. And now as I continue to swing through contact to the finished position, you can see my front leg is now straight and see how my back foot drags forward slightly. So that tells you that I'm not locking my hips. I'm allowing the release to happen naturally. Now let's take a look at the inside out swing path from the side angle. So from the end of the unit turn, what we'll see, the racket and hand will fall down into that inside slot, where as you can see, the racket and hand are now close to my body. You can also see how the racket face here is slightly closed. That's also very important in the slot position. The uh, general guideline is approximately 30 degrees to the ground. That's the general guideline. The thing we want to avoid is the racket face being too open. Now from here, I swing away from my body to contact. And now as I continue to swing through contact, pay attention to how 
I extend out towards my target. See how the racket and hand are moving out towards my target. And then if I pause it here at this frame, see how the hand is approximately at shoulder level, right there. And the racket is still more on the hidden side of my body. So I haven't really pulled the swing across my body. Instead, I'm lifting the swing out towards my target. And now at this point, I naturally release and then the swing will wrap across.